Corlia. I'm very pleased to speak in support of my colleague, the Minister for Health, on this important piece of legislation. He has himself outlined the detail of the legislation. He's outlined the intention of the bill, and really all of our intention here is to reduce the spread of the virus. COVID-19 remains a very real threat to all of us, and in particular to our most vulnerable citizens. It is a critical time for our country, and we have a responsibility to comply with public health guidelines and the regulations for the good of everybody. While the vast majority of people continue to comply with restrictions, it is very clear that too many people are acting in a manner which enables the transmission of the virus and therefore additional measures are needed. The fixed charge system being proposed will help, we hope, to change behaviour. This is important to note, however, that the government's objective here is not to catch people out. It's not to try and punish people who are adhering to guidelines or even those who make mistakes, because we all make mistakes. The objective is to prevent the kind of behaviour that endangers others. We do not want to see large numbers of fined issues for non-compliance. Even with these new enforcement powers, and Garda Síochána will continue to comply with the policing policy, which has earned the support of the vast majority of the public during the pandemic. Deputy Cullinan said that these fines will be the first instance. They absolutely will not be. And I can reassure Deputy Kelly that the Garda will continue to use the four E's. Engagement. They will engage with people first and foremost. They will educate people as to what the guidelines are, as to what uh, they are trying to do. They will encourage people to comply where they are not in compliance, and it is only as a final resort that they will enforce. People who are in breach of the regulations will always be given an opportunity by the Gardaí to come into compliance before further action is being taken, and I can absolutely reassure the deputies of the House that this will continue. I can also reassure deputies that we are not introducing this legislation, um, having not consulted with the Commissioner and Garda Síochána. We have engaged with them to understand what their concerns are and what their needs are also. At present, the penalties applying to some of the current health regulations remain a potential fine of up to €2,500 and or a six months imprisonment fine. So this is not new where we have uh, a penal provision or where we have um, custodial sentences. What we're trying to do is reduce them and make them more in line with the, the actual potential breaches. The new six fixed uh, penalty notices will allow for a more proportionate system of fines. The legislation before the House today will also make it an offence to organise an event in a private home such as a house party that is in breach of public health regulations. However, as we have outlined on Garda Síochána, will not be given any extra powers of entry into a private dwelling. It is presumed that the occupier of the home in which the event is taking place is the organiser unless it is proven otherwise. And Garda Síochána will also have additional powers to give direction in relation to events in private homes. These are firstly the power to direct someone who is intending to enter a dwelling for the purpose of attending an event organised in contravention of the public health regulations or someone who is about to enter a dwelling for that purpose, who is attempting to enter a dwelling for that purpose, they will be asked to leave the vicinity in a peaceful and an orderly manner. Where a member from Garda Síochána suspects that an event in breach of the public health regulations is taking place in a private dwelling, he or she may direct the occupier to require and to cause all those attending the event to leave the home or venue unless they are resident in the home. For the purposes of issuing such a direction, a member from Garda Síochána may attend at the main en entrance to the event and require the occupier to provide their name. A person who fails to comply with the direction of a member from Garda Síochána commits the offence and is liable on summary conviction of a fine not exceeding €1,000 or to imprisonment for a term not exceeding one month. They may appeal the conviction against uh, the sentence to the circuit court. Um, as deputies will be aware, maybe to outline some other operational matters which the Gardaí are undertaking. Operation Fonacht is focusing on supporting public compliance with these public health measures. The Gardaí Commissioner has announced that there will be continued high visibility patrolling by Gardaí members across the country. Again, the focus here is not to try and catch people out to penalise them, it is to encourage people to adhere to the public health measures. Gardaí will continue checkpoints on main routes. In recent weeks, that has involved 132 large-scale checkpoints a day on main arterial routes around the country, in addition to thousands of mobile checkpoints a week on secondary routes in towns and villages. And there will continue to be high visibility. And I understand that there is frustration for those who perhaps are getting caught in these checkpoints, those who are trying to get to work, to get to school, where people have doctor's appointments. But I would ask and I would plead with those who do not need to be on the roads I saw this myself yesterday coming up to the Dáil. There was as much traffic on the road as any other day. That should not be the case, and I would urge those who should not be on the roads to please stay at home and to continue to work at home. 
as has been done since the start of the pandemic. Gardaí will of course continue to engage with the most vulnerable in our society in order to provide them with the necessary supports. While the vast majority of Gardaí will be focused on engaging the public, national units in areas such as crime detection, armed support, national security and organised crime as well as divisional drugs units will continue to prevent and detect crime. In particular, the Garda National Protective Services Bureau and the Divisional Protective Service Units will continue to support victims excuse me, of domestic abuse under Operation Fonacht. We, ask, we, have, sorry, we were asked earlier this year to stay at home, and for many of us, home is our safe place, home is where uh, we can be kept safe. However, for a lot of people, it is not a safe place, and domestic violence, unfortunately, has increased during the pandemic. Introduced at the start of the pandemic, Operation Fuisif have seen an enhanced level of support, of protection and reassurances, I hope, to victims of domestic abuse. Thousands of contacts have been made with victims of domestic abuse, as well as arrests, and over 100 prosecutions commenced. And yesterday, for the first time ever, a barring order was given, um, essentially over video link, through the Ennis District. This is a new development, and this is a very welcome development following the changes in legislation over the summer. I want victims of domestic and sexual abuse to know that in Garda Shia Khan and the court services and other services, including the vital services and supports provided by our community and voluntary sector, are still here for you. Perpetrators should also know too that there will be no let up in our efforts to tackle domestic and sexual violence. There will be a release uh, to outlined deputies here of personnel to frontline policing, including 125 attested Garda trainees currently undertaking phase one of training in the Garda College, 75 Garda trainees not attested undertaking phase one training, and the 60 Garda working as tutors or instructors in the Garda College out of a cohort of 80 Garda. This is in addition to the 45 Garda who temporarily transferred from the Garda College to the frontline at the start of the pandemic and who have remained on frontline duty. These deployments will take effect from the 2nd of November. In addition, across the organisation, Gardaí and administrative roles will, where possible, be redeployed to operational duties. The 12-hour contingency roster will also be extended until the 31st of March 2021. Ken Corley, these are just some of the initiatives which have been uh, undertaken and are being um, supported through Angarda Shia Khan. I know these are strange and difficult times, but I want to reassure them, uh, uh, those who are listening and deputies, that the Gardaí will always continue to support, to work with people, to engage, to educate, to encourage, Kermak. and it is only as a last resort Kermak. that they will enforce. Thank you. Kermak.